A contingent liability is a potential liability arising from a past event or transaction, but its outcome is dependent on a future event or decision. A typical example is a pending lawsuit, which arises from something the company has done in the past, but could result in a liability in the future depending on the outcome of the lawsuit. Some other sources of contingent liabilities besides lawsuits are disagreements with government authorities such as the IRS or state tax authorities and warranty contract claims. There are three different types of contingent liabilities. Probable contingent liabilities, possible contingent liabilities, and remote contingent liabilities. Each type comes with different rules on what to report and how to report it. Probable liability is one for which the probability of the liability becoming actual is more likely than not, and the liability amount can be estimated. An example of a probable liability is a lawsuit for which legal counsel to a company provides a reliable opinion that it is more likely than not that the company will have to pay some money, and that amount of money can be estimated. An important factor in determining a probable liability is the ability to make a reasonable estimate of the liability. Rebates and warranty liabilities are some examples of liabilities that can be reasonably estimated. When the contingent liability is probable, the company recognizes the liability on its balance sheet and includes notes about the liability to the financial statements. These probable liabilities are later recognized as expenses when incurred. A second type of contingent liability is a possible liability. A possible liability can be different from a probable liability in two ways. Either the probability for the liability is less certain, or even though the probability of it becoming a liability is the same, the amount cannot be estimated. Possible liabilities are not recorded on the balance sheet. Instead, they are simply disclosed and described in the notes to the financial statements. For example, J Company sells refrigerators with claims of being energy efficient. Customers complain that this is not true and sue the company. This lawsuit could possibly result in a liability depending on the core decision and the amount of the damage award. Even assuming that the probability of this liability becoming actual is more likely than not, there is uncertainty about the amount of penalties, and there is absolutely no basis to estimate the amount for this liability. Under these conditions, this contingent liability should not be recorded on the balance sheet, but should only be disclosed in the notes to the financial statements as a possible liability. The last type of contingent liabilities is a remote liability. Unlike probable and possible liabilities, a remote contingent liability has very little or no likelihood of becoming an actual liability. For example, in a lawsuit, J Company's legal counsel determines that the case against the company lacks evidence and is without merit, and there is little chance J Company will lose the case. In this situation, GAAP dictates that no accrual entry should be made on the balance sheet and that there is no need for a note to be recorded in the financial statements.